Wisconsin Hughes Stadium, Utah, a couple of weeks ago, 39-107. Tonight, the third largest, 35-5-14. Fire Marshal was out of town, I might add, on October 22nd. Yeah. <laughs> So you can stack people on the end zone and all the grass fields. People can bring a sack lunch. Good old. The ninth touchdown of the season for Ryan Christofferson and Wyoming with the early lead. Well, that's milkshake stuff there. Joel, that's what you give the offensive line. You say, hey, guys, we get the student union. Watch that offensive line. That Spurs, they come up. You got a good double team blocks, a good tag. You got Bartlett and Corp just coming off, moving people. Back most of the season. So, a second team all whack performer last year, not available for the Cowboys. That was the first first down of the contest for Colorado State. And Hill is looking to throw. This is what he does best. But he scares his defense. So now second and three outside of the 46 of Wyoming. Is it the reverse? Yes, Burkett's got it. He's got blockers. Burkett down the sideline. Will he take it the distance? Stopped inside the five, close to the one. Leave on the free safety. Back in the lineup now. It is Ward. He's in. Touchdown, Colorado State. Well, it says a lot for you when you can answer a 12-play drive by the opponent, come right back, smash mouth football, and get it back in the end zone. Good serve by the They're going to run a lot of those. They want to get him right there if we can settle down. And Tillman is very good at it. Real smart receiver. Knows how to find the soft spot. The last one, as you can see, the last two games, 400 for one. Fourth best in Wyoming history, 397. Fifth best. The blitz, they pick it up. Not quite, though. And they get the Gustin. Back at that interception right before the break. And here we watch Jackson once again. He's kind of beating the quarterback. He was in like in the zone. And he just goes in and takes it away. Now, if that ball has some elevation on it, we could be singing a different song. But it doesn't. Same for 33, 10, 50. Left in the opening half. Great protection for Anthony Hill. He's got a man wide open. It's Eric Olsen. Down to the 23. 22-yard try. Out of the hole of the backup quarterback, Eric Brown. And it looked like it was deflected. Wyoming got a piece of it. He'll let you know about it. Second and short, second and four. Hill looking for the bundle. He's got Olsen. What a grab by Olsen. He's down inside the 30, near the 26. You would think as Hill was working out of the shotgun, the shovel pitch, it's the H-back. Burkett, he breaks the tackle, and he gets the first down, all the way to the 15. Hill is now 4 of 7. So that's a completed pass for 109 yards. Burkett, I might add, is still looking for his first career touchdown. He's a senior from Lakewood. It's gone on first and 10. Wyoming has the ball. It'll be a 34-yard try. He'll have to bend it from right to left, and he's a left-footed soccer-style kicker. Final play of the half. Does he get it inside? No. Yes, it's just inside. What a close he call. That one. He shaved that one, man. A very close call. It counts. Lubeck and the Rams down by three at the half at home. It is Wyoming 10, Colorado State 7. Let's the George Foreman, who really hadn't shown much the last couple of rounds, threw a massive right after hitting a couple of big punches, knocked Michael Moore down and out. George Foreman has become the oldest heavyweight champ in the history of the sport. It was Jersey Joe Walcott, who was 37 years old in five months when he won the title in 1951. Now at age 45, George Foreman has won the IBF and WBA heavyweight title, knocking out Michael Moore in the 10th round. We'll take you there. Also remember, this is only the second time this year that Hill and the Rams have trailed at the half. The other time it was Utah, and they were down 9-7. to seven. It's now Colorado State with their starts with their worst field position of the entire night to start the second well, half. Now that win for New Mexico earlier today over Utah won't mean a thing to Colorado State if they cannot come from behind at home. Three wide receivers set. 
Hill has a wide open man at the eighth bank of Zonia Jr. by 17, and Dougal will punt it away. He's got down, he's got to be loving this Joe. This is coordinator's dream. Greg Van Leer back deep, and it's a fake, and the man's wide open for the first down. They've got it, and on his way inside the 35 for the Rams of Colorado State, Andre Stroh, the defensive back. What a call, and did they desperately need it. 35 yards of the fake. Well, that is magnificent. Not a lot of good things to say about special teams when you look at this club. Boy, he sold it, too. That's the key. He sold it well. Boy, it seems like it takes forever to come to you when you're in those trick plays. Almost breaks it away. Good field position. Rams now with new life. Now watch this. you got to sell these things. Really, he just comes up and kind of does. Now you wait and you think, well, okay, I got it. He didn't have a lot of time to sell it. No, he didn't. He, he really didn't. First and ten. That's a factor now. They need seven, big time. That's compared to only two penalties against Wyoming. Now they've got three snaps and negotiate 25 yards. Here comes the pressure on Hill. Signal in his man, and it's poked away with a flag on the play as the man drove through. They're going to take it all the way down to the two-yard line. So it's going to be first and goal from there. They need a quick score, too. Now you start trying to fight off these minutes. 2-16 left of the third, 24-7. Wyoming on top. They came in a two-touchdown underdog. Single set is war. They spread the defense with three wide receivers. Ward trying to bounce it out. He's in. Touchdown, Colorado State. Rams are back. Huge extra point. Trying to cut the deficit to 10. McDougal gets it up in. For leaving the game for a six or seventh inning. What is this? It, to me, this is the only game in town, isn't it? I understand it. I wonder where they're going. That's the key. Where are they going? 
First and 10 at the 20. Gustin ready to go. Sending his tight end in motion. Christofferson met at the line. And he loses the ball. It's a fumble. Colorado State says they have it. And they do. Kareem Ingram with the recovery.